Hi, my name is Dan and I'm one of the DT evangelists here at Digital Tutors. In this video, we're going to look at a question from one of our users on an issue that they came across while going through the Introduction to Maya 2011 course. So to illustrate this, I have the pod raiser from the Introduction to Maya 2011 course. And if I were to go ahead, I'm going to select this pod raiser here in my outliner. And let's try moving it in a couple different axes. So if I want to move this in my Z axis, we can see we're having an issue where our cables are moving farther than the rest of our pod racer. So I'm going to undo that real quick. Let's try a different axis. If I want to move this in my X axis, we can see that we're having the same issue where our cables aren't moving along with the rest of the pod racer. Now the reason for that is actually because of something called double transformation. So let's take a look at what exactly double transformation is. If I were to open up my outliner here, just to see how this is built up, we can see I have my pod racer, I have my cables group, as well as groups from my engines and the cab. So I'm going to open up the cables group since that's where we were noticing the issue. And in here, we're going to have different pieces of geometry as well as curves that we used in order to create these cables. So, uh, for example, we have our profile curve here, which is kind of hard to see because it's inside of our uh, pod racer. If I hit 4 to go to wireframe, we can see our profile curve. It's basically going to be a NURBS circle. And then we have the path curve that's going to be uh, what the profile extrudes along when we perform our uh, extrusion. And that creates the geometry that is the cable itself. Now, when we're modeling in Maya, Maya is going to retain what's called construction history. So to kind of illustrate this, if I were to come in and select my path curve as well as my profile curve, so I have both of those selected now. If I come in and move this, watch what happens to my geometry. We can see that my geometry is moving along with my path curve and my profile curve. The reason for that, if we select our geometry, we can see here in our channel box we actually have inputs, and that's our construction history. So Maya knows that we used, in this case, an extrude operation using these two curves to create this geometry. Now this is really beneficial if we wanted to come in and adjust our, the shape of our geometry, we could easily do that by adjusting the shape of either our path or the profile curve. So uh, real quick, if I were to come in and go to a uh, control vertex view and select one of these vertex, I can move this around and notice how our geometry is following the shape of that curve. Now another way that we can tell that we have our curves controlling something, if I were to once again select these curves, when I hit 4, notice how the geometry is purple. What that means is Maya is telling us that the objects that we have selected, in this case the path curve and the profile curve, are going to be controlling this geometry. So uh, when I move those curves, our geometry is moving along with it. Now when we have the curves in our group, the, when then we move that group, um, the group is telling everything in the group to move as well. So basically, it's going to be telling the curves to move one Maya unit for every Maya unit that the group moves, as well as telling the geometry to move one Maya unit. But we also have the curves telling the geometry to move. So effectively, the geometry is being told to move twice. And that's where we're getting what's called double transformation. So every time we move the group, the curves are going to move once, and then they're going to tell the geometry to move, and the geometry is also moving again. So we're getting this effect of double transformation. So to fix this, we can simply go in and break the connection between the curves and the geometry. So to do that, let's come in and select the geometry here, and watch the inputs in the channel box. I'm going to go to Edit, delete by type, and history. We can see that it, Maya has gone in there and cleaned up our construction history and gotten rid of the connection between the curve and the geometry. 
So if I come in and try to uh, modify our curve, the curve is going to modify, but our geometry is no longer connected to that. So let's see what happens now when I try to move my pod racer. So I'm going to come in and select the racer group. And when I move this, notice that we're still getting double transformation on the cables that we did not delete the construction history on. But this one cable here that we went in ahead and deleted the construction history is moving along with our pod racer. So we could easily come in and do that for the other uh, cables. So I'm just going to select the geometry, and I can hold down control to select multiple pieces of geometry, and then come into Edit, Delete by Type, History, and that will clean up the history for each of these pieces of geometry. So now when I move my pod racer, my cables are going to move right along with it. So we can see we're moving this, and our cables are moving with it, as well as if I move it in a different axis we're not going to have the issue of double transformation anymore. So that's a look at what double transformation is, as well as how we can fix the issue by deleting the construction history on our geometry. To continue building this pod racer, check out the Introduction to Maya 2011 course.